I've been reading a lot. Um, I had planned to do just kind of a, a wrap up this weekend of some of the books I've read, but I decided to focus one short video on just this book, this Larry Kent Terror Below uh, entry in the Larry Kent series that I did a video on the other day, depending on when this goes up, it was either my previous video or one or two before. This is Larry Kent number 798, Terror Below by Don Herring. Uh, I want to particularly you see all they have is the copyright date for the uh for the kindle edition on these i think these were you know the series ran from the 50s to the 80s or god knows when this was written um but i do want to apologize to the memory and the family of don herring because in my last video i said of the ones i'd read i thought he was the weaker of the two writers but this book is insane it is literally insane it's not like the others I've read. It's a uh, really high pulp, a very bizarre book. I'm going to read a couple sentences here uh, from the, the description. <clears throat> and this book is called Terror Below. The night people were an urban myth, weren't they? A bunch of freaks and other deformed men and women who preferred their own company to that of the, pe the people who hated and reviled them. It was said they lived in the sewers beneath New York City with all the snakes and alligators. People laughed at the idea such a society could live and detected beneath the busiest metropolis of the world. But Larry Kent knew different. The night people existed, all right, and they were friends of his. Okay, so there's this secret society. This is, you know, this is like more pulp science fiction horror level kind of kind of writing than the others in the series. The others are very straightforward. The ones I've read, I'd be interested to know if people come across other strange ones. You know, they're about a, a private eye who gets hired, you know, by some rich guy to handle a blackmail scheme or, you know, the regular kind of stuff gets betrayed by a femme fatale. This is a, a kidnapping kind of kind of plot. What happens is he's friends with these, this under under hidden society you know and it, and it really plays in a lot to like urban myths of the time you know where there's sort of snakes and alligators and that live in the sewers in new york and there's also giant rats in this story and there's uh anyway uh, so larry kent is hired by a multimillionaire named gordon pearson whose daughter's kidnapped apparently uh, by the normally uh, peaceful night people and he hires larry to find uh, her bring her home and larry the, the private eye dares not fail because if he does, Pearson promises to mo mo mobilize the National Guard and clean out the sewers with guns and flamethrowers. The fate of the night people lay in Larry's hands. So it was really over the top, very pulpy. It reminded me of the Spider novels, which I've talked about before, the Pulp, the pulp series, The Spider, uh, written by um, whoever they're written by. I don't remember. You know who the Spider is by now. Anyway, the night people uh, have a whole society. It reminded me a bit of the movie Nightmare Alley. I'm, speak I'm thinking of the original movie from the 50s with Tyrone Power, not the Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro uh, remake, which I'm not interested at all in, and not the book, which I would like to read someday, but uh, it also reminded me in a certain way of John Wick, even though the John, the, the John Wick universe, extended universe, I guess, you know, not that this is a revenge plot or anything, not that Larry, uh, Larry Kent is similar to John Wick in any way, but just the whole idea of this whole alternate universe in New York City, um, which is very fun. So I wanted to apologize to the author of this book because he really did, Don Herring, uh, he really did put a lot of effort into this particular Larry Kent story. Like I said, like I said in the other, these are about 100 pages long. This one is just bizarre. Really insane, you know, the kind of thing you might come up, up with after you've written a couple hundred of these. I know in the... Pub and in the publication material, which I mentioned last time, there's supposed to be over 400 of these were written. But, you know, the numbers I see on them are like, this is like number 798. So I don't know what those numbers refer to. Uh, Larry Kent number 798. I would think there's at least over nearly 800 of them. 
and this is number four in the ones that are that are have been reissued. Anyway, it's just so cool, so dark and strange, and Larry Kent shows a lot of uh, different aspects to his pe- to his character. He's he's sort of a not a flat character in the others, but you know, just sort of generic uh, private eye. Here he's more of a champion of the of the under. Of, of this underworld, of these people who live, you know, in this, like, sort of weird urban, uh, this sort of uh, weird ir- urban myth kind of society, uh, underground. You know, there's lots of characters in it, you know, pseudo, almost comic book characters. There's, uh, you know, he talks about different people he meets. There's a character called the Norseman, who's the sort of the, the ambassador for the under, for the night people. Uh, the Norseman acts as a contact for the night people. He's an awesome man, almost seven feet tall. He wears a leather helmet decorated with the horns of a bull, a heavy leather shirt, and short trousers of the same material. On his feet are open leather sandals. And he wears winter and sum- that he wears winter and summer. His magnificent green eyes and gleams from the- his slits in his helmet. The glitter of his eyes is misleading. The Norseman is blind. So it's just these uh, these over the top characters and giant rats and you know nutty stuff going on as. I found it very exciting. I really, uh, you know, I would almost uh, decided to drop the series and read some other things because I've got seven of them. You know, and I think I've read four of them now. Uh, so I'll, I'll keep going through the rest of the ones I have because Terror Below is really a highlight of the series. It's, as far as I can say, I'm by, not, by no means an expert since there's over 400 and I've only read uh, four or so, 1% of them. But this is really over the top. I would say it's not representative, but it's it was really a pleasure to come across, especially in Garbagas, because it really hits all the all the uh all the all the pushes all the buttons of uh Garbagas being, you know, it's uh, uh fast paced, very short crime, violence, but also uh, just an, a ton of absurdities that you wouldn't expect to find in this book. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. I give it a thumbs up. I recommend it. I, if you, I, again, I don't think it's representative of the series. I think if you do uh, pick up this series, I know some people in the comments have said they might. Uh, I would be interested in seeing your videos, see what you think of these. They're 100 pages long. They're $1.50 on Kindle on the U.S. store. Uh, so let me know what you think and I'll be back with another review or maybe this will follow it of the other few things I've, I've read this week and I'm closing in on that uh, 100 book goal. Uh, wish me luck.